Okay, I'm back. <clears throat> I'm actually going to be making the meat to go into the the pork rolls that we're going to be making. I was challenged by my sister. I don't know who Aunt Linda is, but Aunt Linda, when I come to Pennsylvania, let's cook together because she's saying Aunt Linda can make some good um, egg rolls. So I'm just excited. Um, and Linda will have to hook up um, soon to make some egg rolls when I get back here. So I'm going to add my carrots that I ground it up and grind it up in the um, food processor. Again, I do have a mean Philly one. I'm going to try to hurry up and cook before this guy comes from the cable company. Alright, so basically I have the ground. This is ground pork. Not a big pork eater, but being a chef, you have to try everything, right? And guess what I'm cooking out of my wok? <laughs> All right, so and Linda, I'm gonna make these egg rolls. I don't know. I never met Aunt Linda, but. Apparently it's my brother-in-law's aunt, so my sister said, how are you going to beat an Asian person and she knows how to make them? So I didn't say I was going to beat her, but I'm going to, I'm up for any challenge. What I did was add um, some seasoning salt to it, which is probably a little different from what they do. When I say that, I mean the um, Asian culture, I think they just add exactly what um, the standard, which is usually ginger. Um, salt, garlic, pepper, uh, carrots. You can even add cabbage shredded up um, if you like. I'm not going to add cabbage because I don't really want all that in here. So I'm going to add about a teaspoon of ginger. A little under a half a teaspoon of salt. So rather than you watch me brown this, I'm going to brown this and then come back and uh, add the last part of the ingredients. Okay, so I'm here with my finished product, the egg rolls we were making. I want to show you that I rolled a couple just to kind of give you an idea. They're very easy to grow. Um, just take one of them. I'm trying to make sure my counter is dry, but it's giving me a little hard time, but that's all right. I'll manage. Take a little bit of water along the edges, kind of seals it. Apply this in the middle. There's two ways you can do this, and I'm going to show you the other way. This way I like a little better. All right, so do it like an envelope, pull it back. Make your envelope just like an envelope. And just keep twirling. And when you get towards this end, this is where you want to make sure you seal it. There you have an egg roll. I'll let mine try to do a couple more with you. The other way you can do it that's even easier. There's only one here. Okay. You can do it this way too. All I have is a little warm room temperature water. I'm putting about a tablespoon or a spoon of it. So you want to just drag it down like this. This is another way you can fold it up. Fold it on the sides. Turn it out. And roll. All 
depends on how you want to do it. See? All right, we'll do a couple more. And basically, I'm going to roll about 20 of these, and then I can freeze these up. I'm going to fry it and come back um, and show you the final product. And then show Aunt Linda that I do know how to make egg rolls. I don't know who Aunt Linda is. My sister shouldn't have told me her name. <laughs> Charlissa wrote in sure for her. It's funny. Let's see here. And these you can find in the, actually I found them in a produce stand at the grocery store market. I made these before. Um, I like to make the Philly cheesesteak, which is my own. You can maybe put anything you want in it. Lettuce. You want it a little more thicker. I mean, um, cabbage. Excuse me. Same way we made it, just add your cabbage to it. Shred it. And then I'm just going to make sure I seal it in. All right. So I'm going to pause the video at this point. I'm going to come back with my final product. And these you will cook about, since they're not frozen, they're fresh, they're ready to roll. You can cook these about two minutes, three minutes um, tops, because they don't take long to cook. I'm going to monitor it and give you the exact minutes that I cook mine for. I have my heat on. Excuse me, I have my, my fryer on, my deep fryer on at 375. 